Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about what narcissists hate most about you. Before I begin, please give this video a thumbs up down below as it helps the YouTube algorithm to get this very important message out there. What narcissists hate most about you? It should be no surprise to you to learn that narcissists hate you. They engage in hostile behavior. They're unfriendly, oppositional and resistant. And yet there is this continued presence. They keep coming after you and they do not stop. Which is the definition of an internet troll or a hater. They do things deliberately to bait you. They deliberately provoke arguments and emotional reactions. But they may often say things they don't even believe just to cause drama or to manipulate your perception. And they may also encourage mob mentality, but they urge other people to join in the attack. And it's because they're envious of you which is why they're often so competitive. Because they feel insecure just by being in your presence. So they have to manipulate you or try to bring you down so that they can feel comfortable around you. Which is really pathetic, but it's what they have to do because they have such low self-esteem. They feel like they're not good enough for you. But deep down, even though they will never tell you this, they actually admire and respect a lot of what you're doing, which is why they keep coming around you. It's why they're drawn to you because you have something special, but it's making them feel insecure. So now they want to stamp it out. They want to destroy it, or they want to get you to focus your attention on something else. So then they don't have to feel so bad when they're around you. Because if it was a level playing field and you knew exactly who you are when you're interacting with them, they would feel very insecure. Which is why the first thing they have to do is to get you to doubt your own qualities and abilities so that they can feel more comfortable around you. But although they do hate you, there is actually a thin line between love and hatred. The emotions of love and hatred can be closely linked. Because you can't really hate someone unless you really love them once. Love and hatred are passionate emotions. And they are reserved for people who truly matter to you. Because these emotions require a lot of time, energy, and thought. The narcissist may hate you a lot. And you will know if they hate you, because it will include a desire to harm, devalue, or to exclude you from something. Which is very different to simply disliking someone. When we dislike someone, it may just be a personal preference or a difference of opinion. But hatred is so much more. And what they hate most about you is how you make them feel about themselves. So they don't really hate you. They hate themselves and their own feelings. They feel like they're not good enough for you. And as strange as this may sound, they actually desire nothing more than to be loved by you. They're seeking a sense of belonging, a feeling of security and support, where there is a sense of acceptance, inclusion and identity. And you may be thinking that you already tried to provide that to them on so many occasions, but it didn't seem that way to them. Many of you are highly sensitive. You experienced abuse in childhood, 
and it caused you to become distrustful of people where you developed a sense of aversion or antipathy where you were naturally and habitually inclined to avoid or turn away and you may not have said anything to them but narcissists are always scanning the environment for threats they're studying your facial expressions body language and tone of voice so they can pick up on avoidance immediately they know when you're pulling away and they assume that it has something to do with them it triggers them and it makes them feel insignificant as though they're not good enough and that is when the devaluation phase begins it is always initiated by the target narcissists don't initiate anything they're constantly in reaction mode they're responding to however you're perceiving them so they end up hating you because they assume that you don't approve of them and in some situations they may be right maybe you do disapprove of some of the things they said or did even though it may not have been that big of a deal to you at the time but narcissists have a black and white mentality so once they sense any signs of disapproval they overreact and they're ready to jump ship and they will hate you because of how you make them feel about themselves they will hate your success because they're not as successful so then they will hate you because you make them feel inadequate like they're no good so then it becomes a competition where they have to prove to you that they're better than you thought and it's typically by discarding you and triangulating you with their new supply because once you've made them feel inferior they've really got it in for you after that so there isn't much you can do you can't win them over because from that point on they're always going to view you as the enemy or opponent as this person who is deliberately trying to make them feel like they're nothing even though you may never have intended to make them feel that way but that's how they feel they feel a lot of shame and it's because of your success because you look better than they do because you're always happy and full of energy and enthusiasm you're very lively and cheerful and you talk a lot you're fun charismatic and outgoing but they're nothing like that although they secretly wish that they were they envy you so it brings them a lot of shame it makes them feel humiliated and distressed as though they're bad or foolish so now they can't stand you because they're shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame but every time they see you you are triggering them to reflect on their shame and it's not only the shame that they feel from feeling inferior to you it's also built up from their other past failures and mistakes which are then resurfacing in that moment and you're not even doing anything wrong you're just being your authentic self you're not intending to hurt them maybe you have a good job or you just started a business and you're just trying to make a life for yourself but that triggers them to reflect on their shame so now they hate you for that but they won't let you go because now they need to use you as a vessel to hold all of their negative energy which is why you're wasting your time showing your vulnerable side to them your human emotions will just make them hate you even more because it's just reminding them that something is wrong with them and there is no amount of love or compassion that will fix them because they are not like us so they will only continue to deceive you while denying their wrongdoing thank you for watching up until this point and if this video is helpful to you please do give it a thumbs up down below Thank you. But yeah, at this point in the relationship, they will develop a lot of sexual frustration. 
Because if there is one thing that narcissists do not like, it's intimacy and affection. They hate closeness and togetherness. It makes them feel sick, which is why they prefer to watch pornography or have one night stands because they can't be close with anyone who really knows them. They adore anyone who gives them praise and attention. But if you know who they really are, they will reject, resent and destroy you because you are a threat to their fantasy world. So they have to replace you with other people who are fake and just like themselves. Although even those people are only temporary, they will say no to sex with you, but then they will go off and have sex with anyone else because you're no longer giving them supply and it's a threat to the preservation of their false self. And just the idea of being intimate with someone who knows them really disgusts them. They want a fantasy. They hate intimacy and affection. You're just a genuinely decent person. While well, they have to fake everything and that makes them hate you even more. Because they have to depend on their manipulation to secure their targets. That's really all that they have. Because they can't be vulnerable. There's nothing inside of them. And they already feel like you have rejected them. So they hate you for how you make them feel about themselves. And this is why they don't celebrate your success. Or they just try to avoid talking about it. Or they act as though it's not important. Whatever they treat as though it's beneath their consideration is usually what is bothering them the most. And that is why they don't want to talk about it because it's irritating them and it's making them feel inadequate which is why nothing you do is ever enough and if you start doing less then they will start criticizing you for that there is no winning with a narcissist especially once you've made them feel like you disapprove of them or you've rejected them there is no going back after that they will hate and resent you for life even though you may be doing better than them, they will hate you for that too. I'm not really religious, but I was born a Christian. And I do believe that we can find positive teachings in every religious book. So I would just like to finish with this. In the Bible, Mark chapter 6, verse 4, Jesus said, Prophets are honored by everyone, except the people of their hometown and their relatives and their own family. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up down below. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you all for watching and as always, I will talk to you soon.